APAC discusses stable financial solutions for small and medium enterprises. Danang, many support activities for startup community. Danang says target of each common world has its key product. DRT News is happy to have you watching today. In the framework of the APEC 2017 Small and Medium Enterprises Ministerial Meeting and Related Meetings held in Ho Chi Minh City, on September the 11th, the APEC Small and Medium Enterprises Finance Forum took place under the theme Boosting Access to Finance in the Digital Age. Through this forum, delegates from APAC member economies sought stable financial solutions for the development of small and medium-sized enterprises, focusing on new, innovative, and more efficient capital approaches. Together with stable financial solutions for SMEs, the forum also discussed measures to enhance access to supply chain finance in the Asia-Pacific region so that APAC member economies could take advantage of cross-border financial supply chains through regional economic integration. To continue implementing the startup support program, in September, Danang organizes many activities for startup businesses, of which the highlight will be on the selection of potential projects into the incubation center. The selected projects should be in four priority fields of IT, biotechnology, education, and health. After being selected, the startup creators will undergo a number of training courses. In addition, they will also be connected with domestic and international partners, as well as have a chance to work at the co-working space of the Danang Business Incubator Center for free. In September, Danang will also organize such many startup events as the training program for Startup Tech Star Weekend Danang 2017, a startup conference, and the final round of Hatch 2017 competition. Reportedly, after nearly two years of cooperation, the Danang Business Incubator Center has given support to more than 25 startup projects throughout the city. Among them, many projects have gained outstanding achievements. Danang has been promoting its natural advantages to build commercial service infrastructure, deserving to be the driving force for the socio-economic development of the Central and Central Highlands regions. By 2020, the city will strive to have between 800 and 1,000 enterprises joining e-commerce transaction platforms under the Ministry of Industry and Trade and international organizations, 50% of which will conduct their trading activities on trading floors. Also, by 2020, commodity trading activity through transaction centers will account for 40 to 50 percent of the total volume of wholesale goods. By 2030, the city will encourage the development of various types of enterprises and commercial infrastructure, as well as harmoniously combine the traditional commerce with modern and e-commerce. The 2017 ASEAN Computer Emergency Response Team Incident Drill ACID, was officially opened in Vietnam with the participation of 15 teams representing 10 ASEAN member nations and five dialogue countries including Australia, India, Japan and South Korea. Taking the dangers of insufficient authentication and poor access as its theme, the ASEAN Cyber Security Deal ACID 2017 focused on the latest cyber security trends for members of national cyber emergency response teams when serving their country's cyber security issues. This was also the chance for the participating teams to practice building and implementing plans to handle cyber security incidents. According to the data released at the program, Vietnam faced nearly 10,000 network security incidents in the first nine months of 2017. The domestic airlines have recently announced the plan to increase airfares to ticket agencies after the Ministry of Transport's decision on lifting service charges at airports from October the 1st. 
However, this is only a slight hike, and the airlines will still offer cheap tickets at different prices. As calculated, when the new charges are applied, its passengers is supposed to pay an additional of more than thirty thousand dong for a domestic flight. In addition, the price of aviation security services will be charged at two U.S. dollars per passenger for international flights instead of one dollar and fifty cent at present. For international passengers, airfares at the Da Nang Airport will raise from 360,000 dong to 454,000 dong per adult, and 180,000 dong to 227,000 dong per child. The Vietnam Railways (VNR) has proposed borrowing a state investment credit at the Bank for Investment and Development of Vietnam to invest in new projects on modernizing locomotives and wagons until 2020, with a total investment of 4,658.8 billion dong. According to the document sent to the Ministry of Transport, by 2020, the Vietnam Railways expects to gradually replace the low-capacity locomotives and wagons out of date with the modern ones produced by the advanced technology of the industrialized countries. And they will be put into use on railways in Vietnam. The plan aims to improve efficiency and increase the competitiveness of railway with other types of transport. The Vietnam Railways flagged to fully comply with the loan procedures if the plan will be approved by the central government. At the same time, fully fulfilling the obligation of principal and interest payments in accordance with the loan agreement. Danang has said the plan of each commune or ward has its own typical product, which will be implemented in the period of 2017-2020, with a vision toward 2030, with the aim of contributing to restructuring the agricultural sector in the direction of increasing the added value and sustainable development associated with the program on building new-style rural areas in the city. In early July 2017, the City People's Committee assigned this task to the People's Committees of districts, departments, and agencies. Through the survey results, currently the City has 41 products with strong potential and advantages for further development. The City Department of Agriculture and Rural Development said that, based on their survey, the focus will be paid on implementing the synchronous solutions for giving support to promoting training courses and encouraging production activities. The special attention will be paid to building value chain of the key products and taking advantages of each locality in the direction of increasing the added value and sustainable development. Implementing the program for children small on September the 12th morning, the Danang Hospital for Women and Children and the Children's Hospital Number、no. One, in collaboration with the Small Train from USA, organized the surgery program for children with cleft lip in the central region. With the support of the two hospitals and Small Train organization, surgery for twenty children with cleft lip has been conducted. The Danang Hospital for Women and Children cooperated with Small Train since July 2013, with the main contents of supporting costs for conducting surgeries for children with cleft lip, training professional skills for young doctors, supporting hospital with cleft lip surgical tools and other medical equipments. Thanks to the cooperation, over recent years, about 200 children with cleft lip from Danang City and provinces in the Central and Central Highlands regions have enjoyed the surgeries free of charge. And that's it for today's news. Remember to check out drt.danang.vn to rewatch our programs. Thank you for being with us, and goodbye for now.